Hello, it's Leifa, how are you? So this video, you'll be watching me cleanse my scalp with apple cider vinegar. It's a really weird one because if you watch my pre, this is like a part two to a previous video, which I will link in the eye and also the description box. But I've used onion juice in my hair simply to try and just maintain the growth and antifungal. It's great for that sort of stuff. And um, I did discover recently, or should I say a friend told me that it does help to take out odors, but whilst it takes out those odors, it also replaces the odor with an onion juice, with an onion smell, which could be a problem. Anyway, then I've used um, a bit of apple cider vinegar mixed with water and I've just gone through my whole head of hair, my whole head. And um, one thing I will say is that my hair does feel refreshed. To make my apple cider vinegar mix, this is what I start with. The apple cider vinegar itself, and it has to be the one that says with the mother. And the mother is basically the, the bits at the bottom that kind of collect at the bottom. But if you shake it well, it should be fine. So I start by pouring my apple cider vinegar into a bowl. Um, ideally, you should measure this, but I'm just doing it by eye. And as you can see, I put in that much. Then I add water and it needs to be quite diluted. Then I like to add my essential oils. In this case, I added rosemary oil. I thought I added eucalyptus oil, but maybe I didn't catch that. Now I'm transferring this mixture into my spray bottle. If you have a funnel, you can use that to just pour your mixture inside the bottle. Place the lid back on and shake well and you're pretty much good to go. As I said earlier or in a previous video, like locks tend to trap in smells. So if there's a smell that you don't like, it's just gonna trap that smell in or that's what I've noticed with mine. I don't know if it's like that with everybody and I'm just wondering because I really don't want to have to cold wash or shampoo my hair because I'm dreading what that is going to be when I take down when I take down these locks because the nature of my hair it um it likes to lint gets trapped in my hair and like just general build up so I'm trying to reduce that build up by using very little product so I haven't actually used products on my hair or my scalp I'm just kind of letting my sebum do its thing whether it moves down the shaft or not that's its business and um, going in like refreshing my scalp with usually I refresh my scalp with a spray bottle which has like essential oils and a little bit of um, leave-in conditioner on this occasion, I thought I'd go in a little bit further and I've used a bit of apple cider vinegar mixed with water um, and I did add a little bit of essential oil. So here I am with my spray bottle of the mix I made earlier, which I showed you. Then I'm going through my hair section by section, literally section by section. And I have cotton pads, you will understand soon. <laughs> So just taking my hair, starting with this side, spritz the hair, spray it as much as I can, be very generous. Then I take a cotton pad and really wipe that area down. So obviously because I said I'm not shampooing, this is like a light way to um, cleanse the scalp. It's really important for healthy hair to have a, you know, a clean, scalp a healthy scalp now i'm not saying that this completely cleans your hair but it is a nice refresher especially if you want to keep in your braids or your faux locks or whatever it is that you have in for as long as possible and especially if you don't necessarily want to shampoo your hair with braids in which you can do now this is me showing you the dirt it didn't come up very well but it was dirtier than what you see there and I'm just I'm literally I think obviously the front area I take my time because um well that's the most visible to me and 
just to reinforce again, even though I've said so already, earlier I did use onion juice. So it's really important that I am thorough because onion smells and I'm going in with apple cider vinegar, which is great. It's another thing that smells, but it's supposed to be really good for the scalp. Go in section by section. If you want to see how I did the onion juice video, it will be linked in the eye or also in the description box. So that's the part one. This is the part two. It is the same day that I'm doing all of this. Um, generally, people ask me, how long do I leave this in? Typically, you could use do an apple cider vinegar rinse when your hair is loose and just, I suppose, rinse it out with cold water. You don't need to shampoo it in, shampoo it out. It's fine. So I'm quite thorough because this is and I'm smelling it just to see like how it's going. Just to make clear, I'm doing this method after about three to four weeks of having these faux locks in and the older they get the more beautiful they look the more natural they look especially if you have type 4 hair 4c hair it just blends in so well with my regrowth that you just kind of don't want to take it out really well, yes it does the locks itself does start to matte a little bit but that's I mean that's a small price to play play that's a small price to pay when you still look cute. Now, as you can see further, this is the section which has been braided. I, I really want you to see this. And I go right all the way down, wipe it down. And, if, and just to let you know, I am changing the pads. So when they get dirty, I just get a fresh cotton pad. I go around the back perimeter of my head focusing purely on my scalp because that is the area for myself and most people that irritates the most when you've had your braids or faux locks or twists in for quite a while. Here I am just trying to feel with my hands, separating, spraying again or just doing this, just watching it back. I'm just remembering the feeling and how good it felt to just get that refresher. Now the proof in the pudding is, does will the smell linger and is it that bad? Now, I do discuss that further on and it's not that bad, but I might have to come back and do a final thoughts in another video like if you want me to talk further you know what i'd love to know actually comment below how do you refresh your hair and your scalp when you're trying to do a protective style and keep it in for as long as possible do you do what i'm doing do you just shampoo does that work for you um or do you just not wash your hair until you take it out i'd love to know no judgment here no judgment here Now, some of you might be thinking, this seems quite laborious and a tedious task, but it really isn't. And you might be thinking, why don't I just shampoo my hair and just let that be? Um, I think I need to be really clear that when I shampoo my hair in braids, generally, it makes the process of taking it out so difficult. It becomes matted and knotted and the buildup is like gunk where the regrowth meets the extension so this is what I'm trying to avoid obviously if I had gone swimming or you know gone into um, salt water or you know water that has chlorine in it I would have no choice but to shampoo my hair but I'm not doing that right now not in this period so this is what I like to do as an as an alternative to shampooing I just find that the hair I don't need to get the hair wet I can focus on my scalp and if you're wondering how do I then 
moisturize the hair inside is I don't wear a shower cap when I'm having a shower or a bath or a bucket bath. I let the steam in the room, the steam, that natural steam when you're using hot water, I let that moisturize and trust me, it's so simple, but it works. So yeah, almost finished now. And I promise you, it feels so good. I'm not sure what difference it has made, but I'm going to work out later and I might do like an update later on in this video or maybe in another video and just say like, yo, this is how it has been. Cause right now I can't smell anything. It's fine, but it's like, it's usually after a while. So I might get like a really weird onion and vinegar smell. So <laughs> we're gonna see how we work. Working out now. The onion is starting to kick in. It's starting to kick in. It's real. We just got back from the gym. So the last clip you saw was me at the gym explaining that I could feel the onion kicking in, like I could smell it really strong, but my friend couldn't smell it. But then she was, we were close, but she wasn't like that close. Like, you know, we were socially distanced close. Uh, um, so she couldn't smell it. But last night, I so I need to explain earlier i said i'm going to the gym later it is now the next day it is not later it is the next day so what you saw was this morning the following day last night um <laughs> my husband didn't complain but i woke up this morning feeling a bit oniony i was like mm, i can smell the onion it feels like the onion and the uh essential oils are in the battlefield it feels like they're in the boxing ring and they're fighting they're fighting each other like the smells are strong so um mr man could smell it i was like can you smell onion he's like yeah but then also he had onion in his hair <laughs> although he washed it out so i don't know if we both just be smelling like onion together but i think it was my smell that he could smell right now when i put on my clothes and close proximity like really in an enclosed space i can smell the onion so it's like a wolf every now and then um oh no it's not a wolf because if i just do that do that i could oh yeah you know what it's one of those things that do at your own risk it, how bad do you how bad do you want the hair growth how bad like can you live with the smell are you looking for a man <laughs> I don't know it's one of the it's like how bad do you want it it's that kind of thing but yeah i'm gonna go inside now i'm gonna catch up on some sleep so i always like to show you my edges what my edges are looking like when my hair is old like this you know i i've always said that i'm not a huge fan of baby hairs i don't ever force it but when the hair starts to grow out and like it starts to get a little bit messy i might like i don't mind with these like little naps here like trying to create something out of that i don't mind but generally speaking if the hair's fresh i don't force it but now that the hair's getting a bit older i could potentially play with these hairs in the temples and like lay them down if i want to anyway but yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching until my next video respect your edges bye